The History of Newfoundland Dogs in Art and Literature Newfoundland dogs, also known as Newfies, are large and powerful working dogs that have a rich history in both art and literature. These majestic creatures have captured the hearts of people around the world with their gentle temperament and impressive abilities. In this article, we will explore the fascinating history of Newfoundland dogs in art and literature and how they have become icons in these creative realms. Origins of the Breed Before delving into their presence in art and literature, let us first understand the origins of Newfoundland dogs. These dogs originated from the Canadian province of Newfoundland, where they were bred for various tasks such as fishing, hauling heavy loads, and water rescue. They have a thick double coat that protects them from cold water and a webbed foot structure that makes them excellent swimmers. Throughout history, Newfoundland dogs have been praised for their strength, intelligence, and loyalty. These qualities drew the attention of artists and writers who sought to capture their spirit and incorporate them into their works. Artistic Representations Newfoundland dogs have been featured in various art pieces through the centuries, starting as early as the 18th century. One of the earliest depictions of Newfoundlands can be found in engravings by Captain Thomas Brown, who documented the dog's activities in Newfoundland during his travels in the late 1700s. In the 19th century, the popularity of Newfoundland dogs in art reached new heights. Sir Edwin Landseer, a famous English painter, became known for his portrayal of these gentle giants. Landseer's painting, a distinguished member of the Humane Society, showcasing a Newfoundland dog pulling a drowning man to safety, not only exemplified the breed's strength and bravery, but also served as a symbol of the importance of water rescue. Newfoundland dogs also made appearances in other prominent works of art. For example, they were featured in the paintings of Sir Walter Scott, a renowned Scottish novelist and poet, who often incorporated them as loyal companions to his characters. The presence of Newfoundland dogs in these artworks added depth and emotion to the stories they told. Literary Contributions The influence of Newfoundland dogs extends beyond the realm of visual arts and into literature. Numerous notable works have featured these beloved dogs, solidifying their place in the literary canon. Arguably, the most well-known literary work involving Newfoundland dogs is Sir Edwin Landseer's A Distinguished Member of the Humane Society. As mentioned earlier, the painting inspired a popular story of the same name, written by Eleanor L. Atkinson. The tale revolves around a Newfoundland dog named Bob, who becomes a member of the Humane Society due to his remarkable water rescue abilities. The story not only highlights the dog's heroism, but also underscores the bond between humans and animals. In addition to Landseer's painting-inspired story, Newfoundland dogs have also made appearances in other literary masterpieces. For instance, Lewis Carroll's Alice's Adventures in Wonderland features a Newfoundland named Dinah, who plays a minor role as Alice's pet. Although his appearance is brief, the inclusion of a Newfoundland dog adds a touch of realism to the imaginative world of Wonderland. Furthermore, Newfoundland dogs have been the subjects of non-fiction books dedicated solely to their breed history and characteristics. These books provide invaluable insights into the breed's temperament, training, and unique abilities, ensuring that the knowledge about these remarkable dogs is passed down through generations. Conclusion from their origins as working dogs in Newfoundland to their timeless depictions in art and literature, Newfoundland dogs have left an indelible mark on human culture. Their strength, loyalty, and gentle nature have made them beloved companions and an endless source of inspiration for artists and writers. Through paintings, engravings, and stories, Newfoundland dogs have become timeless symbols of bravery, companionship, and the unbreakable bond between humans and animals. Their contributions to the worlds of art and literature continue to captivate audiences to this day, ensuring that their legacy lives on for generations to come.